everybody, what's going on? We got just about two minutes to go until we start this classic rock game. Before that, of course, we asked for your favorite rock band that you didn't let us down. You never do. Wink382 said Funkadelic, which I'm assuming is Parliament Funkadelic, which is a great choice. Amy Elizabeth Hers is from Liverpool, which means, of course, she loves the Beatles. Of course, the lads from Liverpool. <laughs> Mr. Burns0712 said Pantera, Rockin' Hard. Benny Dojo Joe said The Choir. There are a lot of, like, maybe bands that not everybody knows, but I love that everybody, you know, not everybody has to have the same favorite band. I love all the different bands that are out there. Big and small. The Choir getting a shout-out from Benny Dojo. Martu Martu loves Led Zeppelin, one of the greats. D. Johnson loves Journey, another great band. Buizar is a fan of Jefferson Airplane. I actually did a street event with them many years ago where I was dressed in a big spacesuit, walking around Hollywood and dancing on stage with them. That is not fake. That is something that actually happened. B. Westall called out Mother's Finest, Thraz20 enjoys, and has met Matchbox20 twice and thinks that they're real nice, especially Rob Thomas. Prof and Bitter loved Sublime. Yes, Sublime was great. D. Rob is a soldier in the KISS army. That's right. Noah Consuela is a fan of the Eagles. And who wouldn't be a super talented group of guys? And finally, Cook Guy can't choose. Between the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, those bands will be linked forevermore. Also, the Beatles will be linked with the Beach Boys. But specifically, people always go, was it Beatles or Stones? Do you like either? They're very different groups. So... I, whichever one you like, you're right. Good news for you. But right now, it's time for a mic check. Check one, check one, sibilance, sibilance. Are you ready to rock? Welcome to the classic rock edition of Swag Bucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Your classic rock knowledge is your key to today's big grand prize. Take a look. That's 2000 $500, and everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple-choice classic rock trivia questions will split it. In this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. Now, if you're eliminated from grand prize contention, that's okay. Keep earning SB throughout the game, but you will need to claim those bonus SB at the end of the game in order to keep them. And that's as simple as clicking a button that appears at the very end of the game. So stick around is what I'm saying, no matter what. But if you win the game, you don't have to claim anything. The bonus SB you earn throughout are rolled into your share of that $2,500 grand prize. Also, for those of you who are new, who are just rock fans that happen to stumble upon Swagbucks Live, the first time you get a, a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin. Give yourself another shot at that grand prize, and you can do that using SB. It's generally one SB to rejoin, or you can use a free rejoin. If you don't have them, click the Get More Rejoins button in the main menu at the end of this game, or play during a Second Chance Week where we give them out just for showing up. Right now, though... It's time. We're plugged in. The crowd is pumped. So let's shred these comments and get things going with question number one. Here it is. Keith Richards is the lead guitar player for what classic rock band? Is it the Rolling Stones, Cream, or Blues Traveler? Which of those bands has Keith Richards on lead guitar? The band is 60 years old, and they're still out there touring and playing their decades of hits with Keith Richards on the lead guitar. You know I'm talking about the Rolling Stones, of course. Yes, that is right. They can't get no satisfaction, even after 60 years. You'd think they would be satisfied by now, but they can't get no satisfaction. Uh-uh. No, no, no. 98% of you getting that one right, of the 2% who are eliminated, everybody back in, plus some of our stragglers. We have over 31,000 people in grand prize contention, over 31,700 of you playing the game. And the good news is, now you have to stick around, because every question you get right from here on in earns you one bonus SP. So let's kick that off right now with question number two. What was the title of the first Guns N' Roses album? Was it Lies, Appetite for Destruction, or Ritual de lo Habitual? The first iconic GNR album. 
while they had good albums and really good songs later in their career. I mean, who doesn't love Use Your Illusion Part 1 and 2? Nothing is as purely Guns N' Roses as the original lineup's debut with Appetite for Destruction. Of course, Appetite for Destruction is the answer. 91% of you getting that one right. Well done. Lies was their follow-up album. Not as good, but still decent. And then Use Your Illusion, they brought in Matt Sorum on the drums. You know, they had a slight... Some of the band members had a problem, but now the original lineup is reunited and touring and playing in Europe. Very, very cool. Of the 9% of you who were eliminated, we had pretty much everybody rejoin, almost all of you. Still over 30,000 people in grand prize contention. And we are on to question number three worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Which of the following is a song by Aerosmith? Is it The Wait, Yesterday, or Dream On? This is their most famous song of all, for sure. The Cordage was inspired by Steven Tyler's classically trained musician father, and the lyrics were about never giving up. That's right. Dream on, dream until your dreams come true. Dream on is the answer. 97% of you are dreaming on and moving on to question number four. Well done so far. Bunch of rock experts, but this is a Thursday, so it's going to get difficult. Let's get into question number four, worth one bonus SB, if you get it right. Here's Q4. What classic rock song contains a criticism of a Neil Young song? Is it Sweet Home Alabama, Brass in Pocket, or We're an American Band? Do you know the answer? This is a hint on Swaggit. After Neil Young's Southern Man painted a less than kind picture of the South, the lyrics, I hope Neil Young will remember. A southern man don't need him around anyhow. Appeared in Sweet Home Alabama. Come on, that's right. Sweet Home Alabama is the answer. Leonard Skinner taking some exception to Mr. Neil Young. Southern man don't need him around anyhow. 77% of you getting that one right. Well done. Did you know that one or did you get the hint that we dropped on Swaggit earlier today? I don't know, but I like to see that of the 23% of you who were eliminated, well over two-thirds of you coming back in. We have over 27,000 people in grand prize contention, and we are now moving on to question number five worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, here it is. The band was a group of musicians who were the backing band for which artist? Is it Elvis Presley, Bob Dylan, or Tom Jones? They later became their own band. The Weight that we talked about earlier was by them. They were an established backing band called the Hawks before they backed Bob Dylan during his controversial electric period. Bob Dylan is the answer. 83% of you getting that one right. Well done. The 10% of you went with Elvis. Just got caught in a trap. But you can get out. Because you can rejoin a play for bonus SP. All right. Here we go. We are moving on. Halfway done with this game. Here comes question number six worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, here it is. Ozzy Osbourne was the lead singer of what rock band? Is it Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath, or Slaughter? What was the name of his band before he became a fabulously successful solo artist? He's a superstar in his own right who had dreams of being like his heroes, the Beatles, but... His sound was a much better fit for Black Sabbath's music. Not a Beatle. He's his own thing. 96% of you knowing Black Sabbath. And you move on to question seven. Doesn't that feel just like heaven? All right, let's move on to question number seven. By the way, it is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here's Q7. Where was the first classic rock radio station launched? Was it Dallas, Texas, Detroit, Michigan, or Denver, Colorado? This was also hinted at on Swaggit. Let's see how many of you were able to get that clue. Nowadays, classic rock is on the FM dial. But back in 1983, it launched on the AM dial with KRQX in Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas is the answer. 16% of you getting that one right. Oh, no. 80% of you going with Detroit, Michigan, which is much more of a rock city. But the classic rock format, looking at rock hits from a while back, that was first launched in Dallas, Texas. That is where that format was born. 
Believe it or not, it is true. And of the almost 20,000 of you who were eliminated on that one, well over half of you coming back in. I'm going to give you just a second. I don't know which uh, what your classic rock stations were uh, where you were raised or where you are now. Where When I was raised, which was in Philadelphia, 94YSP. 941YSP was, was the classic rock station. And then WOGL-FM was the oldie station. My Uncle Harvey was a DJ on WOGL, and he played Blue Moon a lot. That's neither here nor there. We still have 18,000 people vying for a piece of this huge $2,500 grand prize, and only three questions remain in this classic rock game. I can't believe it. We are moving on to question number eight, worth one bonus SB, if you get it right. Here it is. What band played themselves in the Simpsons episode Homer Palooza? Was it Pearl Jam, Smashing Pumpkins, or the Beastie Boys? This band played themselves. This is when Homer became like the human cannonball. He had people like punch him in the gut with stuff. Homer gains fame taking blunt force trauma to his beer belly and is a hit on the festival circuit where he meets bands like Sonic Youth. And the correct answer to this question, Smashing Pumpkins. Smashing Pumpkins, the answer. 85% of you getting that one right. Well done. That is what I like to see. That's right, you're going to move on to question nine. We are, of the people who got eliminated, by the way, about a quarter of you coming back in. Not bad. We are going to move on now to question number nine. It's our second to last question. I can't believe we're already here. It is worth one bonus SB to everybody who gets it right. Here's Q9. What band's albums include Dookie and American Idiot? Is it Alice in Chains, Nirvana, or Green Day? Those are both albums by which of these bands? They were a punk throwback with a new sound and opened the door for another new sound, and they're still touring the world, so please go see Green Day if you have the chance. They are brilliant. Their music is amazing. Green Day is the answer. 15,452 of you have made it this far and are ready for our final question. And before we get to that final question, are you looking for a side hustle? After the game, sign up as a driver for DoorDash through Swagbucks, and you will get 10,000 SB when you make your first delivery within your first 30 days as a driver. That's $100 in PayPal cash or free gift cards on top of what you earn from DoorDash just for bringing your neighbor a fresh-cooked meal from a local restaurant. You have to be a U.S. player to qualify, and you have to be a new DoorDash driver. DoorDash is awesome. Not only do I enjoy having food from DoorDash, but I've met some amazing people who deliver for DoorDash. And that could be you, because you're amazing. All right, check it out after the game, because right now, we're going to get down to it. It is time for our finale. It is worth one bonus SB. 15,513 people vying for a piece of our $2,500 grand prize. And here is our final question. It is question number 10. Which of the following rock bands has painted faces while performing? Is it Kiss, The Police, or Blues Traveler? They wear elaborate stage makeup when they perform. Which band am I talking about? They're almost more of a show than a band at this point, with a catalog of merch that would put Disney to shame. Kiss is the answer. Yes, Kiss is who I was looking for. 15,274 of you knew that answer. And you are splitting our grand prize. And boy, do you rock. Each one of you taking home 17 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Jessica Growlex, Jesse Liu, Elise Rod. Who else do we have here? Uh, Alec, you won. Congratulations to you. And one more. Sabatazzo. Yes, I'm sure I didn't say that right, but congratulations to all of our grand prize winners, whether I can say your name or not. And congratulations to those of you who earned bonus SB throughout this game and claimed it just now. You all have more SB in your account now than you did when the game started. That makes you a winner in my book. And you know, now that you have all these new SB in your account, you know what to do with them, right? When the time is right for you? Of course you do. Redeem them for PayPal Cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Great job all week long. Come back early tomorrow for our Friday Flash game. Thank you for playing Swagbucks Live, and please keep on rocking in the free.